Okay guys, now we have section 4 and this section 4 is a little unusual because in actual exam also you can get multiple choice questions in section 4. Now what is unusual most of the time <coughs> in section 4 we have one word only. But over here we've got some questions which are called matching. Okay, so let's see how to do it. Australian Aboriginal rock paintings. Australian is from Australia. Aboriginal means old Australian, old civilization. Rock painting means painting on the rock, sometimes on the mountain, sometimes on big rocks. There are some paintings, so it's there. Which painting styles have the following features? Features are questions and styles are options. Do you understand? Features are questions and styles are options and by the way style is uh, there are only three styles painting styles a is dynamic b is jam now if you say what is the meaning of jam you don't need to know what is it it's a style jam is a style that's it uh, and c is modern okay now question number 31 figures revealing bones they will talk about skeleton figures revealing bone means skeleton dhancha Okay, so now skeleton figures revealing bone. Is that dynamic? Is that jam or is that modern? So this hand should be on question and this hand should be on the options and then you can just write them down. Let's do this one. Section four. You will hear a lecturer giving a talk about Australian rock art to a group of archeology span students. Good morning, everyone. I've been invited to talk about my research project into Australian Aboriginal rock paintings. The Australian Aborigines have recorded both real and symbolic images of their time on rock walls for many thousands of years. Throughout the long history of this tradition, new images have appeared and new painting styles have developed. And these characteristics can be used to categorise the different artistic styles. Among these are what we call the dynamic, yam, and modern styles of painting. One of the most significant characteristics of the different styles is the way that humans are depicted in the paintings. The more recent paintings show people in static poses, but the first human images to dominate rock art paintings over 8,000 years ago were full of movement. These paintings showed people hunting and cooking food, and so they were given the name dynamic to reflect this energy. It's quite amazing considering they were painted in such a simple stick-like form. In the Yam period, there was a movement away from stick figures to a more naturalistic shape. However, they didn't go as far as the modern style, which is known as X-ray because it actually makes a feature of the internal skeleton as well as the organs of animals and humans. Excellent. Exactly. Figures revealing bones. For that, they use the word X-ray. Right, and they took it to modern style. So C is the right answer for X-ray. Uh, for revealing bones, they use the word X-ray. If you just look at the X-ray, they reveals bones and all. They reveal bones. Okay, let's go on. Question number 32. Rounded figures. And for round, they might use the word curve. Curvy figures, curviers, and all that. So let's see which part is that. The yam style of painting got its name from the fact that it featured much curvier figures that actually resemble the vegetable called the yam, which is similar to a sweet potato. B, yam style of painting and vegetable, which is curvier and all that. So rounded figures are B. And you will not write dynamic, yam and modern. You will just write ABC. Okay, question number 33. Figures with parts missing. Parts missing means without any hand, without any arm, without any neck, without any head. It's that. The modern paintings are interesting because they include paintings at the time of the first contact with European settlers. Aborigines managed to convey the idea of the settlers' clothing by simply painting the Europeans without any hands, indicating the habit of standing with their hands in their pockets. C. Why C? Exactly, that's right. I'm going to play it again for you. The modern paintings are interesting because they include paintings at the time of the first contact with European settlers. 
Aborigines managed to convey the idea of the settlers' clothing by simply painting the Europeans without any hands. Without any hands. In the beginning, she said modern. So the answer is going to be C. <clears throat> Question number 34. Figures smaller than life size. Figures smaller than life size, they are called miniatures. Figures which are smaller. For example, if the human being, they make a small human being, right? So figures smaller than life size. Let's see what that is. Size is another characteristic. The more recent images tend to be life size or even larger, but the dynamic figures are painted in miniature. Dynamic figures are painted in miniature. Miniature means smaller than life size. Life size means the normal size. Smaller than life size, that is dynamic. A. 35. Sea creatures. Aboriginal rock art also records the environmental changes that occurred over thousands of years. For example, we know from the dynamic paintings that over 8,000 years ago, Aborigines would have rarely eaten fish and sea levels were much lower at this time. In fact, fish didn't start to appear in paintings until the Yam period, along with shells and other marine images. Fish didn't start appearing until the Yam period. Fish didn't start appearing in painting until the Yam period. So for sea creatures, they use the word fish, and it started at Yam period. I'm going to repeat it for you. Aboriginal rock art also records the environmental changes that occurred over thousands of years. For example, we know from the dynamic paintings that over 8,000 years ago, Aborigines would have rarely eaten fish, and sea levels were much lower at this time. In fact, fish didn't start to appear in paintings until the Yam period. Okay, in fact, fish didn't start appear in painting until the Yam period. Means it started in the yam period, so sea creature. Now, question number 36, plants. And by the way, for plants, they might use the word vegetables, trees, and all that. Let's see, which uh, style is that? Dynamic, yam, or modern? The paintings of the yam tradition also suggest that during this time, the Aborigines moved away from animals as their main food source and began including vegetables in their diet as these feature prominently. B, yam period, and move from animals to vegetables. That's right, 36, correct answer is B.